Hello, welcome back to the channel. This is episode four on the Mark One build. So in the last video, I made this five speed shifter tower. That's all done, ready to go now. And I fitted a few other things, handbrake cables, drive shafts, stuff like that. I also sourced a dashboard and I started to get that fitted. And whilst I was fitting that, I cut out most of the stuff that was in here after removing the old steering column setup so that old setup was a bit of a hybrid setup it had the top half of a seat leon steering column the lower half was the corsa electric power steering setup and then it sort of was tacked on to the mark one uj at the bottom so just like what i'm doing with the dashboard i want this car to be a bit more period correct but i do quite fancy keeping the electric power steering setup so i gutted all that out and I've started to build uh, basically a Mark I electric power steering setup. I'm not going to go into the full details on how I've done that in this video. I'm going to save that for another one. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and you'll get a full video on how I've made this Mark I electric power steering setup. But what I will show you in this video is how I've went about mounting the setup in the car. I always find custom fit in a steering column to be quite tricky because you've got so many variables. You've got the seat for the driving position. You've got the pedals. You've also got the clearance to the pedals as well. You've got the clearance to the dashboard. And uh, you've just got to get everything kind of nice and straight as well. You've also got the, the position to the gear stick as well. And you just really want a nice driving position. So what I've done so far, you'll remember in the last video when I cut out a bunch of the bars that were in there already, I cut all of them out, but I kept these two boxes that had been welded to the kind of dashboard bulkhead part just here. Now the Corsa setup has two quite strong mounting points either side here. So what I've done is I've welded a bar, or I've tacked it in for now, tacked it to this box, and I've also tacked it to that box there, and then it's going to get stitched right along here where it sort of touches against this part of the bulkhead. And I've also just tacked in two bits of tube that come off of that bar. And then they've got some flat brackety bits at the bottom. Now the other thing I think I'll do once I've fully welded this up just to strengthen it a little bit more. I'm probably going to put a gusset right in between these two bars. And there's actually two little threaded mounting points here. So I think in the gusset I'm just going to have two little holes and then... This part of the steering column can also bolt to the gusset strengthening plate as well. And then I think that should be more than strong enough for the top section. I could always triangulate it back up here. Um, but I think it should be fine with the setup that I've just mentioned. So here's a view just from the other side. And obviously there's a big electric motor that bolts in here. So you can see I've got plenty of clearance for that. Nothing's going to get in the way of that. Now for the bottom half of the column... What I've done is I've actually took an old Mark II Scirocco steering column and I've cut off basically the bit that welds to the column support tube and that's the bit that bolts through the bulkhead there. It also bolts up to the top section of the bulkhead through there. And then what I've done is I've just, for now I've just tacked on some little brackets that will come off and they're going to bolt onto the Corsa rack. So there's one there, just tacked on for now. Then there's also a second one just here. So that comes up and round the support tube there. And then it bolts onto this part of the Corsa column. And there you have it. Nice and solid. So what I'll do next is I'm going to remove everything and we'll basically get it down on the bench. We'll finish fully welding that lower half I can actually weld that up while it's bolted to the column and that should keep it nice and braced and then we'll bolt it all back up and we'll see if we can fully weld these bars and whatnot in situ such that none of this moves as it's welding and then I find that I can't get the, col the column to bolt back up
Okay, that's the column support tubes now fully welded in. There's one or two bits just in behind that I'll get to once I've taken the, the actual steering column off. But the last little piece of the puzzle I've just been fabricating up now. So I mentioned before I wanted to put a gusset plate in here. So I've made up one of them. So that bolts up like so. Just from these two points here, it's notched as well so that the wiring can uh, poke through here. And then I've just ran it through the swage tool because I'm going to relocate the ECU somewhere down here. So that's why both the plugs are pointing down that way. So I'm just going to clean these tubes up and then I'm just going to sort of stitch it along. And that should make the column support nice and strong. Okay, that's the strengthening plate welded in now. And uh, I've also test fitted the dashboard again, just to make sure everything clears. I've had to notch it just slightly down there, just to clear for the column support tube, but everything fits nicely. And looks pretty good. We've got plenty of clearance to the motor as well for the power steering. So now I'm going to take the dash back out. I'm actually going to remove the steering column again. I'm just going to dress a couple of the welds. There's a couple of little spots that I couldn't quite get to because the uh, Corsa column is in the way. So we're just going to uh, finish those off and then we'll clean everything up and we'll get some primer on it and then we should be done. So that is the full column set up now mounted. Um, I've actually added one more bit of reinforcement so you can see that bar that I've just welded in there. So I've actually re-welded on the original uh, mounting point to that black column support tube. And then I've just made this reinforcing bar uh, and that bolts up to that support tube and it's just welded onto the uh, tube work that I had previously. And the reason I've done that is uh, A, just for a bit of extra strength, but B, I've made this bit quite long so that the wheel sits quite far out from the dashboard because I'm running this in a sort of track setup. So I want to sit as far back as I can. But because I've made this so long, it meant that there was a little bit of play in this black tube where it's sort of pressed into the Corsa end. Uh, and because I didn't have any sort of mounting points off of here, I wanted to add one just to add extra rigidity. So everything is nice and strong now. There's no movement or play. There's a little bit of play in the top part of the column here, but that's just because I'm missing, there's a little uh, sleeve that goes inside the ignition bearing. I'm missing that just now. So once I replace that, that should take up any of the slack. But as you can see, everything fits quite nice. Everything clears the dashboard nicely as well. The dash is only suspended by one little bolt just now, but it's sitting pretty much where it's going to sit and everything clears quite nicely. All that tube work that I've done in there, there's plenty of clearance, so you should be able to get a set of clocks in there as well. The motor has also got plenty of clearance. I just need to find somewhere to mount the ECU now so I can plug that in as well. So the last thing I'm going to do before I end this video is get the dashboard back off. I'm going to take the column off as well and I'm just going to clean up and paint that extra bar that I've welded in and then we'll refit everything and then we'll consider it done for now. So there we have it. That's everything now uh, primed with epoxy primer and the column is mounted back up again. And then with the dashboard in as well. So it's all nice and tucked away behind the dash, all that fabrication work. And like I say, there's still a couple of things left to do. So obviously we'll need to wire the motor up once we start doing some of the wiring and uh, I'll need to rebuild the top end of the column with a new bearing as well because there's just a little bit of up and down play there but we'll soon sort that out. As always, thank you very much for watching. 
we'll catch you in the next one.